Hi guys, and welcome back to the Tiki Bar. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Vince, and this is Tiki Bar. Today, I got a special treat for you. We're gonna be making a classic cocktail from the 1980s. This cocktail got popular after the Cosmopolitan was forgotten. Yes, that's right, we're making a purple rain. Grab your shaker, fill it up with ice. Back in the 1980s, a popular soundtrack and movie by Prince himself made a comp impact, made an impact on on the bartender industry with this cocktail, a purple rain. Coming up next. First, one and a half ounces of vodka. One and a half ounces of vodka. One and a half ounces of vodka. One ounce of blue curacao, orange liqueur, dyed blue. One ounce. One ounce of blue curacao. One ounce of cranberry juice. Any cranberry juice you can get your hands on. Any cranberry juice you can get your hands on. One ounce of cranberry juice. Ooh, that smells so good. And then. One ounce of lemon lime soda. One ounce of lemon lime soda. Made popular by the pop icon Prince, this cocktail was sweet enough that it rivaled the Cosmopolitan. Put, get one scoop of ice. Put the lid on top. And shake hard for 30 seconds. Get your coupe glass. Get your coupe or martini. Get your Hawthorne strainer and pour it right inside. And then you're gonna get a pillar, the lime white. First, on the top, slowly. Cut on the sides. Grab your bar spin. Use the side to curve into a twist. Curve into the twist and drop. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the purple rain. guys I give you the classic purple rain. It depends on what cranberry you have that will mix with the blue curacao to make a perfect purple. As you can tell right here, 
this. Okay. Yeah. You do what you do, you know? Coming up next. Purple rain in a second. Grab your shaker, fill it with ice. Grab your shaker, fill it up with ice. And then, one and a half ounces of vodka. Any vodka you have in your bar or home. One and a half ounces of vodka. One and a half ounces of vodka. One ounce of blue curacao. Orange liqueur dyed blue. Blue curacao. One ounce. One ounce of blue curacao. Half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. half an ounce of cranberry juice. Depending on what cranberry you have that has a good thick enough red color will make a good purple, will make a good purple color. If not, it's still a purple rain. Half an ounce of cranberry juice. Then fill it with one more scoop ice. Fill it with one scoop ice. Then shake hard for 30 seconds. strain it and double strain. Ooh, look at that color. I'll give you with a garnish this little one. Grab your spoon, put it on the bottom, up. Pull it up. Right. I give you purple rain in a second. give you the purple rain the second. Depending on how your blue curacao is with your cranberry juice will get a good purple. If not, the blue curacao can overpower the cranberry and be a slight blue like this. So, coming up next, purple rain the third. Starting off, grab your shaker glass, fill it up with ice. Grab your shaker, fill it up with ice. One and a half ounces of vodka, your choice of vodka, whatever you have in your bar. One and a half ounces. One ounce of blue curacao. One ounce of blue curacao. One ounce of blue curacao. Ounce 
and then two ounces of pineapple juice. Two ounces of pineapple juice. Two ounces of pineapple juice and half an ounce of grenadine. Half an ounce of grenadine. Then put the top on and shake hard for 30 seconds. Hard for 30 seconds. Grab the glass from the freezer. Hawaiian tiki glass. You probably remember these. Grab your glass from the freezer. And double strain with Hawthorne and strainer. Ooh, look at that purple. As you can tell in this recipe right here, my blue curacao was overpowered by pineapple juice, which gave it a perfect purple color. You can do that with the cranberry too, depending on what brand of blue curacao you have. If it's overpowered, it'll come out blue. If it's not, it'll come out purple. Okay. So, grab your lime or lemon. In this case, you're gonna get a lemon. Grab your lime or lemon. Grab a good knife, and you're gonna do a slice of lemon. And you're gonna do a slice of lemon. Place your lemon. One slice of lemon. I give you Purple Rain the third. There you have it, I give you Purple Rain the third. Coming up next, Purple Rain the fourth. Coming up next, Purple Rain the fourth. Fill up your shaker with ice. Fill up your shaker with ice. This one, half an ounce of vodka in your bar, whatever wine you have. In your bar or home. Half an ounce of vodka. Half an ounce. Three-fourths, 0.75 ounce, or three-fourths, or three-fourths now, of blue curacao. Three-fourths of an ounce of blue curacao. And three-fourths of an ounce of cranberry juice. 
three fourths of an ounce of cranberry juice. And then half an ounce Then, half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And then, shake hard for 30 seconds. Then, like always, you have a choice of a martini or a coupe. In this case, we should do another martini. Tiki style. Mm. Grab your hot throwing strainer. And Double strain. As you can tell this from what you see right here, the blue curacao is overpowering the cranberry juice. So instead of getting a purple color, it is a bluish color. So remember, play, pay close attention to which blue curacao you have in your bar. It could easily overpower it. So adjust the measurements of your blue curacao to your cranberry juice, depending how thick it is. So, grab your pillow. Grab your pillow. Slowly, peel on the corner. Grab your bar spin, get the peel, and roll it between the bar spin on the side. Pull this, pull this thing. Get a good lemon twist. I give you purple rain before. Quite a delicious drink, Purple Rain the Fourth. If you ever have a situation where your blue curacao is overpowering your cranberry juice, all you have to do is get a little bit of grenadine and drop it in a little splash and stir and you'll get that purple color. You'll see you later today. But speaking of that, coming up next, Purple Rain the Fifth. Grab, grab your shaker and put it in ice. Grab your shaker and fill it with ice. One and a half ounces of vodka. One and a half ounces of vodka. Any vodka you have in your bar or house. Half an ounce of lemon juice. Half an ounce of lemon juice. Half an ounce of lemon juice. Half an ounce of blue curacao. Half an ounce of blue curacao. Half 
half an ounce of blue curso. And then a raspberry liqueur. And half an ounce of a raspberry liqueur. Half an ounce of raspberry liqueur. And then a splash. A splash of grenadine. Like I said before, if your blue carousel is overpowering all the other ingredients, make sure you do a splash of grenadine. Link below if you like the bag. No pressure. Yeah. One scoop of ice. One scoop of ice. Throw it up top. Heart shake for 30 seconds. Double string. Look at that. And then grab your lemon from the top, bottom. From top, hold peel slightly. Careful, watch your fingers. Put it around the spoon. Put it around the spoon. And voila. I give you purple rain, the fifth. Quite a delicious drink, Purple Rain the 5th. Coming up next, Purple Rain the 6th. Grab your shaker, fill it up with ice. Note, if you've seen any of the Purple Rain cocktails earlier in this video that was blue, I simply just added a little bit of grenadine. Optional, of course, if your blue curacao is overpowered, it'll easily turn it purple. So, if you're surprised to see these cocktails purple that were made blue, that's what happened. Two ounces of vodka of your choice, depending on what's in your or home. One ounce of simple syrup. One ounce of simple syrup. One ounce. of freshly squeezed lime juice one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice one ounce of cranberry juice one ounce of cranberry juice And one ounce of blue curacao. One ounce of blue curacao. And shake hard for 30 seconds. Shake hard for 30 seconds.
get a martini or coupe glass, whatever you have in your freezer. I'll be using a martini. Get Hawthorne strainer and strainer and double strain. Look at that color, guys. And then, grab your lemon and a lemon peeler. Slowly peel from the back end to the side. Slowly peel. Then grab your bar spoon. Put the lemon on the corner, on the top. Slowly around the spoon. Pull the spoon out. And you have a lemon twist. I give you the purple rain, number six. delicious drink, Purple Rain the 6th. Coming up next, Purple Rain the 7th. Coming up next, Purple Rain the 7th. Grab your shaker and fill it up with ice. Start it up, 2 ounces of pineapple juice, 2 ounces of pineapple juice, 1 and a half ounces of vodka, any vodka you have in your bar or house. One and a half ounces of vodka. One ounce of blue curacao. Remember, if your blue curacao is overpowering, just add a little bit of grenadine and it'll turn purple. One ounce of blue curacao. One ounce. of raspberry liqueur. Any ras raspberry liqueur you have. One ounce of raspberry liqueur. One ounce of raspberry liqueur and half an ounce of grenadine. Half an ounce of grenadine. Throw the lid on top and shake hard. Shake hard for 30 seconds. or martini. Get your hot orange strainer and your regular strainer. Double strain. And then get your lemon. Peel. Watch your fingers. Slowly peel. Voila. Slowly peel. Oh. There you have it. I give you the purple rain with that.
have a guys that give you classic purple rain cocktails with variations. Maybe next time we'll do the lemon drop. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more people like you can see this video and many others. Don't forget to comment below. Tell me what cocktails do you like? What's your favorite cocktail of all time? And which purple rain is your favorite? Maybe the classic? Hmm. Or the one with pineapple juice? Hmm. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Thank you. Mahalo. Have a good day. Grab your pillow. Grab your. <coughs>